misery in the house of the rides in summer. So we got ourselves a Texas Star 500, which is four Toshibas are equivalent with no driver. This unit needs a complete and full upgrade. Include fans, please. Thank you. Loose. L-U-C. That's what he says, L-U-C. Loose. Should have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's pop her cherry and see what we got going on on the inside here. It's in really good condition. Are we going to find DEIs? Toshibas? What are we going to find? This thing is like scratch free. We'll try to keep it like that. Now the lid is on backwards, as we can see. Got DEIs. Mm. It's got 316 coax in it. It's power wires. New preamp. It's in pretty good shape. I'll get rid of this sad attempt at power wires here. Hmm. This has got 2879, 19 DO8 in it. Don't know what that means. I don't see any reason why this amp doesn't work. Um, let's do this. Since we're all here today to check it out. did one the other day that the cat was like man I don't understand I, I can't talk through the amp I can't key up and SWR going into the amp causes it to trip and he'd burned out it was a sweet 16 he'd burned out six of the eight transistors and the way the output wire from the factory was laid it was laid right across the top of the combiner when the combiner burn up it literally got so hot it melted and broke the the wire on the uh, <laughs> on the input side. So you can't key up, relay's not tripping, and you can't talk through it. Come to find out, it's because eight or six of the eight transistors went up in smoke. That would explain everything, huh? Okay, all the lights are working. Looks like everything's working. Let me call this guy. Let me find out what he wants to actually do. Typical Texas star. Let's go on in here. Do you see it yet? I know what I'm looking for, but do you see it yet? You see it yet? says to me it's not working anywhere and I immediately knew where to go look so how this works is the RF comes in on this piece of coax goes down goes through this relay comes up goes through this relay dives down comes up on this end of the relay or this part of the switch comes across that allows us to grab up this resistor and then it comes across here that allows us to tie into the dial -a watt which is a reference to ground. And then the RF comes out, and it runs over here, and it goes to our input network, our splitter network, which is here. And this piece of coax is not hooked up. And they do that for legal reasons. 
okay to try and usurp the the law so that they don't get themselves in too awful bit of trouble so now it's like in the movie or the TV show Moonshiners we all know what needs to happen here but I can't really show you on camera so it's just gonna happen and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do power wire upgrades on this and we're just gonna go through it and I'm gonna change out his preamp so it's a little bit better transistor with a little bit more noise for not a lot just a little bit and um, then we're gonna mount a fan on it so let's do that to it okay well Hello. So preamp's all up and working now. So we're on 12 volts. And let's go see what we're getting out of it. So first we'll turn the amp off. Hello, one, two, one, two. We're on 12 volts. Let's go up here. Hello, one, two, one, two. Pass through's perfect. And with about 15 watts in it. Hello, about 225 watts of power. So let's go down here and let's turn the power supply on. Let our super capacitors charge up a little bit. Here, up to 14.9 now. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, everything is working just the way it should. So, what we did is we gave it a little bit of a power wire upgrade. Um, made sure this was right, fixed this, upgraded the preamp. So, let's take a look at our delay. That's working good. And we'll go look at all of our modes of operation. So let's start out with dial a watt. Hello. Hello. That's the dial a watt out. Dial a watt in. Hello. Dial a watt's working. Delay. Hello, which is medium. Here's low with the dial a watt in. Hello. One, two. All right. Now. I've seen many, many, many posts here in the last couple days about this topic. Oh, let's look at the amp gauge. Hello. So this is an average reading meter. Okay. So peak, we're going to times this by roughly about two. Hello. 60 amps is what we're pulling, and that's only with 20 watts of drive. So let's back up a little bit zoom out a little bit and what i mean is i've seen several several posts here lately where the guys are like my 75 amp astron i had it hooked up and it just shit the bed and i was using my texas star 400 500 667 and i don't understand why well it's not a big enough power supply in reality for 667 you need a 125 amp supply and for something like this the Texas Star 500, you need a 100 amp supply. Hello, one, two. That should get up farther than that. Oh, I got everything turned down. Yeah. Getting up, RF power up. Hello, audio. We are making 400 watts of power, and that is it. Hello, audio. Let me play with this a little bit more. It's not making the power I think it should make. Give me just a second. Man, they had all kinds of shit disconnected on the inside. One half of the combiner wasn't hooked up. So now I've been over this thing top to bottom at this point. Let's go ahead, we're gonna run the 2950 in it real quick. We'll shut the amp off. Let's get over here and let's take a look at our watt meters. And once again, we are at 14.9 volts. So let's see here. Hello, one, two, one, two, about 25 watts peak. We're going to put in this thing. Hello, one, two, one, two, 
about 590 watts, so 25 watts going in. It's sensitive, is the moral of the story. Sensitive. She's sensitive. So now, let's come off the 2950 and we'll go over to the D-Rail Striker 955, which does about 100 watts. Should be a pretty good barometer on what this thing's gonna do. Leave the amp off for a moment. Let's go over here. Let's look at our bird meters again. D-Rail radio, just by itself. Hello, audio, about 100 watts peak. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's 700 watts, so we picked up a little bit. Not a lot, a little bit. So we got our amp gauge. Hello, about 65 amps. And then we'll come up here. We're looking at this bird meter here. Hello, one, 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 one. Let's look at the front of the amp radio. Hello, one, 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 one. Perfectly good input SWR. Hello, one, 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 one. Okay. So now we know it all works perfectly. Let's come back over here. Now, what's the one thing we got left to do? We're going to flip the amp over. We're going to mount a 120 millimeter fan on the top. We got this little grommet here in the corner. We'll run our power wires for the fan in through here and we'll come over and we'll plug on to the front end of the switch over here. So when you turn the amp on, the fan will turn on. Now what we're gonna do is we'll pop off all these labels and we're just gonna turn them over because the way the amp is gonna work from this point forward is gonna be like this. And I want you to be able to read your labels. Make sense? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we went ahead and modified the amp, put the lid back on it. It's now got rubber feet on the base of it. They'll keep you from scratching up the lid. Power switch, preamp switch, dial a watt, delay. And the right side up and everything. It's like a miracle or something. So when you turn on preamp, fan comes on. When you turn on power, fan comes on. This is the way the amp's wired. Can't help it. It is what it is. It's all Teflon wire. Put it in a nice expanded wire loom coat to come on to the outside. But at the end of the day, brother man, we turn on our little 100 watt drive radio. We turn on our little Texas Star 500 V. Hello, oh, one, two, one, two. She gets with it. Now, like I told you on the phone, my friend, this thing has the DEI 1609s in it. I don't know what that means, but I can tell you that the 16 and 17s were the last couple runs. So, how long is it going to last you? God only knows. I can't tell you because I'm not that thing. I'm not God. I don't know. I tell you this much. It's running, making good power. It's clean with the right amount of drive, good input schwer, and you now got a fan. On that note, I'm going to throw it in a box and it's on its way to you tomorrow. Gentlemen, my name is BBI and without a shadow of a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck out here in Idaho. What that exactly counts for, no one knows. It's the greatest mystery in radio that has ever been told. It's right up there with who's got the biggest soldering iron of them all. And so far in my little group of guys, which is about four or 5,000 people on Facebook, I do. It still doesn't mean anything because we all know that I'm compensating. Just saying. Guys, have a good one. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Big shout out to Siglent, Excess Power, Coaxial Dynamics, and Bird. And a big thanks to all of you guys. We'll see you. Click, click, click.